Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you all my started and not finished pages. I saw this kind of video on Kate's channel, Kate's Coloring Haven, and I thought, yeah, that's quite interesting. Um, yeah, let's share my started projects too. And I would like to, maybe I will um, tag them with some flags. But not when I have too many started whips, then I won't do it. But here I have some flags, so put them aside. I just hope that I can um, just uh, work from time to time on one of my whips and finish some of those. That would be really cool. And now let's get started with Die Welt unter der Lupe zu Lande by Rita Berman. And I thought I will start with my, with my smaller books. And so let's see what I have like unfinished in here. Oh, okay, this one, I don't think that I need to show it. This was just a test out with some cheap Faber-Castell kids pencils. But here's uh, one that I started. And I have my favorite rose color combination video on my channel for this rose. If you're interested, yeah, I might link it where you find it an older video and then I have colon shed on the rest of those flowers and actually it's not too bad it's just um, Rita pictures I always start and it seems that I never finish those this is by the way color with Prisma colors and then on this one I also have a colon shed with the um, black widow pencils like on this flower like up there and um, this year in the beginning of the year, I really wanted to finish this page and I continued to color it and I followed a um, tutorial by Chris Shang for the background with those fireworks and yeah, didn't come out too nice, I have to say. It was a lot of work with old pencils and everything. And I think that was when I lost my interest in coloring this page again, but hopefully I can finish this one still this year that would be awesome actually it's not too bad i like how it looks so far except for the background but other than that it's quite okay and yeah then i have another colon chat on my channel for this started page this i started with the artisa pencils and i not even finished it but i guess when i look back at my video hopefully i shared the pencils that i use so that I can finish those leaves here. And I think, yeah, I think this was all, oh, there was something. But yeah, this this is not really a started page. I just tried out the Zig, uh, um, yeah, Zig real watercolor brushes or something like that. The colors are really vivid, but they bleed through. I used too much water. So this was the Welt unter der Lupe zu Lande by Rita Berman. Then I have this beautiful book. This is the Disney Dreams Collection, original art by Thomas Kincaid. And I love the art of Thomas Kincaid. He is a painter of light. And I started this page back then uh, when there was some um, color along Disney topic in the uh, Reading with Pugs Facebook group. I started this and um, yeah, as you can see, never finished it. It was so much work to do all the foliage with um, pencil and I think then I lo lose, lost my interest. But I think I really should try to finish this one because it's really beautiful. So let's tag it. Okay. Yeah, so I need to put this on the list and hopefully I will be able to finish this one. This is the only one that I started in this book because I figured out that those pages are really um, detailed and taking really a lot of time. So then I think you all know my Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. I have tons of started pages in this book. And I didn't mark them, and I won't do it now. 
I will find them. So this was a color combination by Coloring with Olivia, which she used on sweets, and I thought maybe it looks nice on hair. Then I have, yeah, I started this hair color combination, and it's not a lot to finish this page, only the face and, you know, the, the hair was the most work, so to speak. But I love to color Hanalin pages because of the hair. Here I just tried out some color combinations for my color long. I wanted to find a nice brown color combination here as well. I wanted to finish this one in the uh, Christmas time, but and, but there was no whoops, really no time. Yeah, then another uh, hair started. Did I mention that I love to color Hannah Lynn hair? I find it really relaxing. And sometimes when I'm not in the mood to color, or I want to color, but not really, then I color Hannah Lynn hair. <laughs> um, another started one in my last vacation last year, summer. I continued it a little bit, but I didn't like how the um, skin turned out, so then I <laughs> left it again. Yeah, and oh yeah, here's one more. Um, this one is also not too much to... F it shouldn't take too much effort to finish this one. It's only her face and some small details. Yeah, really have to to finish this one. So that was all from Hanalin Enchanted Faces. And I show those pages in no specific order. Just as they come. And yeah, the whips from this book are really old. It is this one. And I yeah continued this one just recently. I did the uh, like all the water and I'm kind of happy that I've done this because I was kind of motivated to color it and I'm so thankful that this is done. And then I started to start her hair, but yeah, with all those little like curls and it's a lot of work and then I lost my interest again. It's a pity. It's a pity with me. I also started this page. This is Captain Molly Morgan. Did I mention this was the uh, book from Jasmine Beckett Griffiths, her fantasy art adventure coloring book, her first one. And yeah, this one started, I think, two or three years ago when I started with my coloring, followed a Chris Shang tutorial. Um, no, I followed a Peter Hewitt tutorial on the skin. Oh, this is a finished one, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Um, I think, I think that's all, yeah, only those two. Another one by Jasmine Beckett Griffiths, and this is the Halloween coloring book. And I have this one started, and I really need to finish it because I like it. I really like it, so this one definitely needs to get continued. So let's give it a little flag. And I think, yeah, this is the only one in this book. So then my Botanicum by Maria Trolley and in this book, this is this one, at least I finished it, I'm so happy. I started this one last Christmas with polychromos and yeah, didn't finish it. As I said, somehow last Christmas I wasn't in the mood to call a lot. I started a few pages and I finished none of them, but at least this is the only one started in here. And I think I will uh, finish this one next Christmas, so this year. 
Zen, Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. And in this book, I also have one started page. And it is this one. And this is because, um, yeah, I showed you how to color crystals according to a Helen Alliston's tutorial. So, this was that. Then I have my Misfit Special by Coloring Haven. No, sorry, by Coloring Haven. And uh, in this book, I started this page here. And I think I've done actually quite a lot of this page. I colored all the crystals already. Just have to surround them with white and so on to give them the finishing touch. But it's only the little dragon missing and the background mostly. And this page could be called finished. So should continue this one soon. Then I've got the Arnima special, also by Coloring ha Heaven. <laughs> oh my gosh. And this one is by, yeah, exclusive designs from Destiad Collateral Damage Studios. Oh my gosh. Destiad? No. Yeah. Strange name. And I just started to color those little, um, the flowers <laughs> cherry blossoms yeah those little cherry blossoms and um, oh it was so much work to color all those little flowers and but once they are finished it, the rest should be done quite quickly should continue this one so then I have the coloring heaven Halloween special with uh, we have mixed um, artist in here and I started a page by Anis Guerrero last Halloween season and on this page I also have a video like for the background which was done with Neocolor 2 and the technique I saw from Vicky from Coloring with Vicky and uh, yeah a really fun technique if you haven't tried it and you could also try it out with watercolor it would also work yeah i hope i will continue and finish this one this week um no, this weekend not but this halloween and done now a few hannah lynn books this is a whimsy girls christmas coloring book by hannah lynn and yeah as i said last christmas i started a few pages started this hair not even finished the hair i wanted to try out a new hair color combination and i basically like it but yeah as i said wasn't in the mood and i also started this page which i wanted to color for the longest time but yeah i hope that i will be able to finish this one this week um this christmas yes <laughs> this christmas hopefully it's a beautiful page, I have to say. So then I have the Enchanted Halloween, also by Hannah Lynn. And in this one, of course, I have started pages in this one. Because, especially for those seasonal ones, I always have some started pages. And I have started this one. I was heavily inspired by Dream and Color uh, by Sky. And uh, she, she colored it in a completely different um, color scheme so far. So with another color, hair color. But uh, yeah, I just was inspired to start this page because I just liked yeah, to watch her uh, color this. And then I started this one. And I have another one in here. Oh, wait, it's this one. <laughs> Again, colored the hair. Tried out a hair color combination. 
Oh man, I have started so many hair. Combinations, okay. So then I started one in the Musical Mermaids. Um, this is a book by Selena Fennec. And back then I found out about the um, base coloring with uh, alcohol markers. Where is it? Tiana. Oh, here it is. And so I just did a base marker with alcohol markers on this page. It's still a little bit splodgy in some areas. I mean, this is not uh, marker paper, obviously. Hmm. And I really don't like this in paper quality, but I think. Yeah, I think I would like to um, continue this one. It's basically not too bad. Yeah. So this was this one. Oh, I think we have to get a little bit quicker. In the case, so that the video is not getting too long. I have started this page and um, uh, back then those Jade Summer books. Oh yeah, this is Cute Witches by Jade Summer. And back then they came with the PDF um, versions as well. And I printed this one on marker paper and yeah, marker based it and started her hair. But then obviously I didn't finish it. And I think that is why I have not so many finished pages because I always start pages that I never finish. I have so many started ones. Ah, here's another one. I started this one right when I got the uh, book because yeah just I really love those pa uh, pictures in this book. They are really so cute. They are totally for me. <laughs> And yeah, but nothing finished. And okay, now we have some more Jade Summer books. This is the Kawaii Fantasy and... Ah uh, uh, oh yeah, there it is. I started this page and yeah, I didn't like how it looks so far. I don't like her skin, how her face looks. Don't know if I yeah shaded it wrongly, but I don't like it so much. But I spent a lot of time coloring her hair, <laughs> so basically I don't want to start all over again. So I should just finish it, and even if it is not perfect, hopefully I will like something about this page. We will see. Then I have the Kawaii Girls from Jade Summer. This was basically the first Kawaii book. And yeah, <laughs> I started. Um, is it too light actually? Can you see it? I hope you can see it. I'm using the daylight today. However, yeah, I just started this with polychromos and don't like it at all. So this one. I don't think that I will ever continue this page. Then I have The Delicious Food. I love this book, The Delicious Food. And I started the page <laughs> here. Down here I did those little flowers and I hate them. I totally hate them. They look awful. I like the leaves. The leaves are okay. But the blossoms are so ugly and then I abandoned this page before I have even started it correctly or because yeah the main focus is this um, bowl of fr fruit, yogurt and fruit. Um, and then recently I also started <laughs> this one here and I hate how I call it those Stars, those three are better, but when I started I didn't know 
how to do it properly and I hated it and then I abandoned this. Um, by the way, this was from Marlon Toynison, Wings and Things. Wings and Fins. And then I've got the Misfits book, the fairy one. This is number four. And I started this one when I did um, the Helen Elliston tutorials. I followed the balloon one, which was not as easy as you would think that it is. I like the outcome. I don't know why I haven't just finished the last three balloons. Then the rest would be... Uh, I think not so much work to finish it, but I think I have to go in and um, try her tutorial one more time to finish up those three balloons. And yeah, this is basically all in this book. So I think I have like at least one started page in quite some books. Then another Halloween one. This is a Little Witches adult coloring book by Colin Cafe. Is this right? Yeah, Coloring Book Cafe. And yeah, this is my started page. I was inspired by Jen from Reading with Parks. She has introduced this book and I think she has colored this image. I really liked it and I also wanted to follow, but I have to say on this paper it was a struggle and then I lose, lost my interest somehow. But I think I, I, I could continue this one this Halloween season. It's not too bad. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, I have a lot of whips. Then I have the spectacular Halloween adult coloring book. Um, this is by Constance Young. And I started this page. I followed um, for the background a video by Coloring at Wies. She uses Neo Color 2 and back then it was my first try out with them. So I followed her. And by the way, the uh, wood is done with Arteza pencils. And uh, I followed a tutorial or a video from Melissa from Melissa Colors All the Things. I actually, I really like this look. I think the uh, the ink tense pencils are really suitable for Halloween pictures because the look is really nice. And then I have the world of fairies. This is a complete failure because um, I did this when I um, started the Color Your Heart challenge, and this was my pick by the number generator and as you can see I didn't finish it. I What I really d don't uh, or didn't like about color was all the foliage here that was no fun at all for me. And then I lost my interest. It was taking too much time, it was no fun. Yeah, so that's that. Oh, it's not taking an end here. Then I have Cat and Kittens by Zenzu Creative. And in this one, I have just started this page. Um, just marker based it basically with uh, the Ohuhu markers. And yeah, started a little bit around the fence, some leaves and so on. And, but the stars will be those little kittens. I find them really cute. And if I find a good way to color skin on this type of paper, then I will share it with you. But yeah, this is the sweetest book I find. And then, oops, Allah. Then I do have the uh, Princess Coloring Book by Daisy Joy. Mm, and I have quite a few started ones in this one. Oh. oh, there was one started this one with thick clean colors and then went over with prisma color this one i just based colored with the crayola pens 
So need to do some pencil shading or should I call this finished? Because it basically everything is colored. We could call this finished. <laughs> what do you think? And then um, this one I also did with the Crayola Super Pens. And I think, you know, like this, it looks almost like it was done with a uh, alcohol marker. So we can do, with a little bit of practice, really nice coloring with them. And uh, yeah, for this one, I actually have a vision. I want to like black out the background. No, I wanted to gesso out the background and then do a universe background around her because I, I can't bother to color all those little things here. And I wanted to try out universe for the longest time. So this is something that I really should keep my eye on. So then I have the um, Karibische Welpen by Pomschan. And in this book, oh, there's something started. Yeah, I this also was a try out on the Helen Anderson tutorials. Don't like this one how it came out, and I don't think that I will continue the other shells. And then ah, ah yeah. Uh, then I started this anchor down here. <laughs> I'm also following a Christine Hallison tutorial, but. Obviously, I didn't follow it along. I should have looked for a smaller anchor, I guess. But basically, I would like to continue this one. It's a double spread page, but it looks like fun. And then this is my very first coloring book by Shachanok Wong, Traumhaftes Asien. And... Ah, yeah, here we start. This one is not finished. The bird, the tree. Ah, oh, it's not beautiful. Ah, yeah, here's another one. This one started with polychromos, and yeah, unfortunately, I didn't write down the color combination for the bamboos. Really like the combination. This one started with Prismacolor. <laughs> I have a lot of started pages in this book. Many. I have many started pages. Another one here. I tried out the Ergosoft on this one. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, I had a I I saw a video by Didi Willingham and like she base colored all or uh, some of her pages with um, acrylic paint and I wanted to do that too but yeah she always stresses out that she does washes and I just went in with the um, you know with acrylic paint without water I think that was not so good and then this one also started I didn't know how to go for those um, buildings, but I should finish them. It's not too much to do here. And yeah, another one. I think that's it. Yeah. And then Mythomorphia by Kirby Rosanas. Um, this page almost finished. I worked on the fur of this jackalop. And as you can see, it's not missing a whole lot, but I just stopped. I just stopped and never came back to it. It's a pity. I really think that I should finish this one because it's only two legs, the little face, and the horns, and then it's done. Yeah, this one I really should consider to finish soon. And then I have my Romantic Country books by Iri, and... I wish I would finally color a complete page in those books. I love those books, how they look. The images, they are so beautiful, so cute. And, oh yeah, <laughs> this was a color long. Or a body color, it was a body color. 
and I started the water down here and I don't like how it looks so I abandoned this page. And then I have the first romantic country coloring book by Iri. And in this one, of course, I also started something that I didn't finish, and it's this one. And somehow I found it a struggle to work in this book. I tried out several different pencils, but I think I didn't try the Prismacolor yet. I tried Polychromos, I think I was quite happy with Polychromos, but with all the other pencil brands, I wasn't so happy. But, yeah, I really would love to finish something in her books. And so, these finally were all the books. Now we have some, some printed pages left. So, I just will go through them quite quickly. This one is by Adele Lorian. Should finish this one in next winter. This one is by Mario Laboudec. I was inspired to start this by Colin Chat with Sammy, but then I don't like how those roses came out and I stopped coloring it. On this one I also have a video trying out the Zig Clean Real Brushes colors. I like how this area came out, not so much the rest. On this one I tried out the Paul Rubin um, glitter paints. And the page is by Aurora, Aurora Wings. Um, yeah, this is, I have to say it was quite boring to color this one because yeah, not a lot of many different colors on here. The page is by Rain. I just found her through the last uh, Mermaid event, Mermaid Madness colors on event. And yeah. Another one by Mario Laboudec. Then this little one is by uh, Nyampav. And yeah. This one is by Jana Ferry Art. Or oh, Jana Prasvirinia. Oh my gosh. She's colored the wings and then stopped. This one is by Mystic Art Mirrors. Yeah, did the hair and then didn't continue it so far. Again, Jana Ferry Art started with hair color combination, then stopped. I'm thinking the whole morning about the name of this artist. It is a lovely woman. And I will blend in the name because I just can't come up with a name right now. And I don't know why. Why did I forget it? I I do much prefer when they write it down on the page, so, you know, that you have it somewhere, the information. Christine Karen <laughs> just started the hair. <laughs> then this one is... I also blend in the name for this one because I can't come up with it. Ah, it's here. It's Kelly Art Design Studio. Yeah, Kelly RG Design Studio. Um, another one by Christine Karen. Christine Karen tried out the a um, let me think the Zina color. Have it on my channel. This one is by Anis Guerrero. Started it, not finished it. Jana Ferry Art started to tr play with the Ohu markers. And another one by Aurora Wings. And Jana Ferry Art. <laughs> yeah, and these were all the pages. And did anybody count how many I have? Um, maybe I will blend it in. I will um, make my list with all the uh, yeah whips. And then I should know how many I have. So... If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and then I hope I see you in my next video. Until then, take care everyone, happy coloring and bye!